Hi and welcome back to Lerand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Lerand and uh, yes, I am inside the pyramid right now because we are going to take a look at uh, this beauty. The UFO, the fish index reward that you will get here from Pharaoh Dunes. And uh, yeah, the fish index, I haven't been working at all on this one actually. So I'm at 85 out of 210, so a lot of things to do before I actually deserve and own it. But we can still show what this UFO looks like, what it costs to upgrade, how it performs and what I think about it. <laughs> oh, yes, let's get started. And first, we're just gonna go inside to see what the model looks like here inside the pyramid, because yeah, why not? So, when you do fishing here, uh, you have a, a timer, but this is just a model. I think it's uh, it, looks, it look, kind of looks like it's missing a few pieces to be fully operational. But we're gonna go to Port Jackson and Deckard and see what it costs to upgrade and what it looks like. And uh, here we are, Deckard, Deckard's boats. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> okay. So, UFO, here we have it, a mysterious aircraft. I want to point out, this hovers on top of the water. It doesn't fly, okay? So it's still it's still kind of a boat, but we're gonna <laughs> go and check it out soon. So, health, 2000 and all, all the way up to 5000 hit points. So it has a lot of hit points. Speed, 85 up to 150. That is quite a lot. Fast, pretty fast, I would say. And the specialty, that's the most interesting part here obviously double catch chance it starts at five percent and it goes all the way up to 15 percent and customization this is not like marianne where you didn't have to spend additional gems so on the ufo you need to upgrade the double catch chance and uh, yeah regardless we're gonna spend uh, everything we have <laughs> no not everything we have but we're gonna maximize this all the way up to i think it's 25 on each category and this one is gonna be 15 uh, percent so let's go And uh, here we go, health 5000, speed 150, and the double catch chance is 15%. And we have the customization, we have decoration, which I believe is uh, these, uh, I think it's like bolts or something. We have glow, it's kind of interesting because that's what makes the UFO also look very cool. Uh, I believe it's the surrounding border around the UFO, but we're gonna take a closer look soon. Primary color, yeah, that's the main part of the hull of this UFO. The dome, very, very cool to make. Of course, we need to have it transparent so we can see. Uh, and the secondary, I think that might be... I'm not sure, actually. I'm gonna put a bright color on it and see what it is. So it doesn't really show here, but it could be maybe something underneath, I would uh, assume. But we can't see it from here. And then we have the custom horn uh, options here. Uh, but we're going to go with the transparent colors for now. Because uh, that makes it a little bit easier to see the specialty when something happens underneath the UFO. So let's see if we can just go with... Uh, we're going to go with ghost colors. See, we have... Make that one transparent. And uh, maybe we can make... Uh, Ah, so maybe that's the secondary. Now I can see it better. Uh, so if I make that white. Yeah, exactly. So secondary was inside the actual cockpit here. Uh, underneath the dome. 
<laughs> and here is obviously the steering wheel <laughs> because that's that's how you control a UFO, right? <laughs> With a, a wheel like that. Excellent. So we're gonna make that also transparent so we can see it a little bit better. But we're gonna make it dark so we at least can differentiate the different colors here. Uh, let's see, can we make that one yeah, something like that? It's gonna be pretty ugly as usual. <laughs> uh, but we can make maybe a like a neon ye yellow color around it. That's gonna be interesting to see. And that decoration piece, we're gonna leave it as is. All right, uh, I believe we have applied everything. So and we can equip it for the first time. And uh, let's see what it looks like in the water. And uh, spawn boat. Yes, here it is. With a neon yellow glow and sail. And as we can see, it hovers. So if I am not controlling the boat, it goes down to the surface. And if I enter the UFO, it starts to hover. And what I also notice here that it's it has different controls. Because anywhere you look, that's where it's gonna be heading or pointing. That's the direction. And and that's not really like what normal boats behave. So that's interesting. And the question is, does it mean that uh, it goes just as fast backwards as uh, you go as you go forward? That's really interesting because uh, yeah, that could explain why people are driving this UFO all over the place in both backwards, sideways and forward. So it seems like it has the same speed. Oh, here we have another UFO. How convenient. That's a nice color scheme, by the way. They have neon colors on the decoration pieces as well. I should have had that as well. Uh, but uh, okay, so we're gonna see. So we had 15% chance of getting additional catch. We're gonna see if we can get this one to proc and if something special will be mentioned when it procs because I have no idea. So here we had the light and we had a mythic ship and twice the catch. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> should we go for the mythic ship? I don't know. Uh, maybe can at least close in a little bit on it should be over there somewhere I think the other UFO is going for it as well and there you can also see that proc and uh, seems like we have a little bit of lag as well cool effect it really gets you that additional fish question is if you have <laughs> let's see ah so uh, we have a little bit of orcas here okay uh have a hit on that one so it seems like we are sharing a little bit it's good and uh, we have more orcas here should have something is down here can have that one as well i'm gonna hit it once and then i'm gonna leave it so we can both get the loot uh, the big benefit with the neon orcas is also that you can get those um, keys for mubi so we're gonna see if we can uh, uh, we didn't get any key this time. That's unfortunate. I saw something else. I saw chests. I need to get some chests. <laughs> so we have a chest down here. Perfect. And it's good that it actually lowers itself. Otherwise it would be kind of difficult to get on top of the UFO. I love chests. I love shipwrecks. Because that gives me gems. And over there I see Mubi. Yes, we can go and check Mubi. That's perfect. And uh, with this amount of health, I doubt we need to worry about having to lose the UFO. Because, uh, yeah, with the 5000 hit points, uh, it's uh, crazy. It's a lot of health, so not really worried. Question is, can Mubi eat me from the cockpit? So I'm gonna see if I can provoke him to eat me. Gonna see uh, if he's, <laughs> let's see if he's interested in me. Uh, okay, so nothing so far. Maybe I should hit it once. Okay, so Mubi can still grab you from the UFO, and we are back on the UFO. 
So, you still need to be a little bit careful because, uh, yeah, you can still be eaten by Mubi. But it's not like you're gonna lose the UFO, so that's good. Well, now Mubi should attack me. Oh, he missed me. Why did he miss me? Can we be eaten, please? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so he bounced me away. The way this. Okay, so. <laughs> the boat didn't get destroyed, but I was destroyed. Well, I can still teleport back, so that's fine. But I didn't take a lot of damage. Can it eat me again? Just one more time, please. Don't even get eaten. Why? Come on. Oh, there we go. Finally. So, let's see. Launch me, please. Yes. And I will teleport. And the UFO is... What? It's leaving! No! <laughs> no. No, that's not the part of the test. Come on. You're gonna hit the wall soon. The hidden barrier. You're gonna hit it and I will be able to get on it. There we go. <laughs> ah, back to Mubi. Oh, okay. Please check your internet connection and try again. I'm doing well. All right. <laughs> be right back. And uh, yeah, we are back on the same server. Mubi is still up. Uh, gonna need to hit it at least once so I can get loot from it. And <laughs> yes, there we go. So it's really hard to actually lose the UFO against Mubi. You can apparently lose yourself <laughs> by getting killed. And uh, yeah, what did we get by the way? So we got a tooth, which is great. I can lock it. That's uh, 60 gems at uh, Raygun if you have those quests. So I always save the tooth. That's awesome. Uh, so what do I think about this UFO? Well, first of all, I think this UFO is more entertaining than I first thought because uh, I was a little bit skeptic if this was something that is worth to get but uh, seeing how many others that actually has managed to get it it felt like it has to offer something special and uh, I think it does because uh, it has this unique control system which is great it has this massive amount of health which is awesome I mean you it requires a lot to lose it against Mubi. Of course, you can get killed yourself, but I was really trying to fail against Mubi. And it took a while. <laughs> Eventually, the server died on me. Uh, but uh, then it also is uh, very useful in these uh, weekly quests, I believe. Because uh, if you gonna get some uh, specific fish and you need to have like a high count of any fish there's always a chance that you can get additional fish when uh, you have that specialty so uh, really useful i believe in those situations because it's a unique specialization <laughs> that was a nice jump by the way <laughs> well done <laughs> and uh, it's a very fun boat to drive and uh, it's also a real eye-catching boat because, uh, yeah, many people, they always notice when someone has the UFO on a server <laughs> because it's a very special appearance of a boat and I love it. It's really, really cool. And uh, <laughs> here we have a melon swan. That is also very cool. <laughs> I love this boat. It's really, really good. <laughs> Great color scheme. But regardless, I think this is the third best index item in the game. Uh, first is the key to the city, because that one helps everywhere, like I said before, to get all the other fish index rewards. And then we have the Marianne that I made a video earlier, so go check it out if you haven't seen it already. And uh, after that, I believe this UFO comes in at the third place because you can use it for weekly quests and it's entertaining and everything. So yeah, I would really, really recommend it. And here we have some more gems. Excellent. And uh, yeah, I believe that's all that needs to be mentioned regarding this UFO. I think it's a fantastic one. First of all, I need to finish <laughs> all the job with Marianne. So I need to do that and uh, then I will try to get this one for sure. I love it. 
But yeah, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.